What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the DLC release structure. There's been a lot of discussion about this in the community as of late, how people would like to see a different path taken uh, when it comes to how Zoss releases DLC. In the past, if you did not play the game to begin with, it was more small DLC, so kind of like what we get now when we get the small kind of story at the end of the year. There were several of those scattered out. So for example, your Dark Brotherhood, your Thieves Guild, your Clockwork, uh, your Rothgar story. Those were all within a year's time frame, and they came out every couple months. And a lot of people liked having different zones, different stories, and different things to do, uh, you know, throughout the year. And then when Morrowind came around, they kind of went with this whole idea of we're going to have a year-long story that's going to start off with a couple dungeons. Then we're going to go into a kind of big content drop, you know, something that people have to purchase. And then we're going to finish it off with a couple more dungeons and a small story DLC. So everything within the year is uh can be or can be gotten through you know your uh, eso plus besides the one big story and a lot of people were okay with that i think to begin with they said well we're gonna have to purchase one big dlc in the year that's not going to be included uh with you know your eso plus um, of course some of these zones are added in year in and year out but of course whatever the newest big story dlc is you have to purchase for that year and I think a lot of people were fine with that. They were really hyped about Morrowind. They were really excited about Morrowind. And the Morrowind excitement kind of died off after a while. And then the next year we had Somerset. And I think Somerset is the one DLC that most people agree on probably being one of the best in the game. Now, personally for me, I have no problem with any of these, but I do know some people refuse to buy some of these zones. They just didn't like the idea, didn't care for them, or they just didn't play them after they purchased them. But I think most people will agree that Somerset was the best. And I think Somerset is one of the coolest zones they have just because of the way it looks. It's a very pretty zone. Uh, when it comes to the other uh, DLCs we've had over the years or the other year kind of content story ideas we've had over the years, uh, we had Elsewhere, Western Skyrim, and of course this year the Oblivion Blackwood chapter. And I don't think these have been as popular uh, as once again as Somerset was. And I think that's one reason a lot of people are wanting to have a new way of, you know, DLC content kind of being given out. They want to see something that is different compared to what we have now. Because a lot of people say, you know, it's just a zone, uh, you know, you're getting a zone story once a year, a big zone story. You're getting a reskin of some type of dolmen. Uh, you know, we have dolmens in the base game, but every new zone has had some type of dolmens in it over the years, or just some kind of, some type of reskin to dolmen idea. You got a couple public dungeons, a couple delves, you got a couple dungeons added out, uh, added in through the year. So two at the beginning of the year, two at the end of the year, and then one trial. If you're a pure in-game player, you play vet dungeons, you play trials, you're only getting four dungeons and one trial a year. I think those people are kind of unhappy with the situation. I think I've always been a big fan of trials. I think there should be more trials added in year in, year out. That's just my opinion. But I think some people would like to go back to the old way, honestly. I've seen a lot of people talk about they would rather have the old system back in the game where you're getting three or four small DLCs throughout the year instead of one big story and then kind of a smaller story to kind of end, end the year. Uh, I think there's been a lot of other suggestions out there that would probably work as well. Uh, update some of the older zones one year instead of just doing a new zone. Just update some of the older stuff in game. One big DLC for the entire year. So take everything we get all year and add some more stuff to that and then just give one big DLC drop. Or go with a live service kind of idea where you're giving things out month in and month out. It might be smaller doses of it, but you're getting new content each and every month. I think what really needs to go on for a lot of these dungeons and, and a lot of these trials and a lot of these zone ideas that they have where they're doing the story kind of year in and year out, if they're wanting to keep the community happy, is more content. If you look at Somerset, jewelry crafting was added in. If you look at some of the other content we've had over the years, we've had the Warden added in, the Necro added in, and it seems like people are happier with those DLC drops than they are with the ones that don't have you know, something new for crafting or something new when it comes to a class. And if they want to keep this kind of cycle, and I think they will until they see the money drop off or the community just absolutely decides they're not going to buy anything else. I think that's probably what's going to change their mind. And of course, they may listen to the community and see that people are upset with it because it has been being discussed for several months now. I think until that point, we're probably going to continue to see this same process over the next couple of years. But hopefully Zoss will kind of listen to the community and see that we're not really happy as a whole, maybe with exactly the way they're dropping this content year in and year out and decide to go a different route. Like I said, I think more content more often would be a, a better kind of idea or just having one massive DLC every single year. Uh, I do think there needs to be more trials, more dungeons, more things for all types of players. So when it comes to housing, to fashion, 
to Dungeons to Trials. There needs to be enough content year in and year out to keep everyone happy because everyone plays the game differently. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Do you like the, the kind of system we have now? Do you like to uh, come in, of course, you know, play ESO and uh, have this DLC structure that we have had over the last few years since Marwin? Or are you an old school uh, ESO player and you kind of like the old uh, DLC drops uh, the way that we used to have them where it was smaller content several times throughout the year? Or would you like to see something completely different uh, added into the game for DLC in general? Anyway, leave a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you'd like to hit the like, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.